make and sing and share and cooking tutorials welcome like comment share and subscribe welcome to the sauce doctor we are take over tonight sauce doctor sauce doctor welcome back to adrian cooking and food review wagwan sauce doctor fam welcome back to another video today we have a huge red snapper escovy style some cheesy garlic parmesan mashed potatoes and some purple cabbage steamed oh my goodness let's pray and then we're gonna dig in most righteous and eternal father as we come before in your presence with that bless the food bless the hands that prepared let it be of nourishment to my body in jesus name i pray amen so a lot of you might say this is weird but i'm drinking some Strawberry coconut milk. Mm-hmm. Mm. Where should we start? Guys, if you can see how big this fish is, it's huge. Look at that. Mm. And this is a little spicy. Mm. Yeah. Mm. Mm. I didn't even take the skin out of the potato. I watched them really good. The one you already snapped is boiling. So you gotta be careful. All these veggies are cooked in a nice vinegary. Mm. Fair. For this seafood frying, we're gonna take it to Jamaica. Mm hmm. So, this is the part with the bone, you know. Mm. Absolutely, do so. Wow. So, the whole purpose of excavish fish is to really preserve the fish for a long time. Mm hmm So, growing up in Jamaica, they have some corner shop, right? Yeah, yeah. Let me dig in first. May I tell you? Mm. Mm. Gotta be careful with those bones. Mm. The spice is coming in too. Mm -hmm. Mm. If you never had escovish fish, you're missing out. I haven't had this in years. Mm -mm. Mm. 
Normally snappers are really bony. But this one right here. This one right here is so good. It's big. So it has bone, but it's not bone. Mm. So this old red snapper, I paid $9 for it. So you know if you had to buy this in a restaurant, this would probably cost you at least $18, $20. Mm, that's not including all these sides. Mm -mm. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. And to season this red snapper. I didn't need much season. I just used salt and pepper. This is the only time Jamaicans cook with salt and pepper alone. Mm -hmm. mm. Because the escovish. Mm. Then it adds so much flavor. Mm, mm, mm. Mm. All right. So in the Jamaica, they have corner shop that sell escovish fish. Mm -hmm. They just have one day, little warm of them, where they fry them dry, really crispy, and they put them in there because that vinegar and that lemon juice and all those flavors soak up right into the fish and preserve it for a good amount of time. Mm hmm. So, this is what our ancestors used to eat. Yes, yes, yeah. All right, let's see if we can get that center bone out and get that meat. All right, you see, you know you're a pro. So the head there. You know you're a professional with fish when you can do that. And look at that beautiful filet. Mm. Sorry. Look at that. Mm. 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 My mother is sitting right beside him. I know she wants peace. Well, give me a second, Thank you. Alright, so, she eat with me today. But, uh, now my mother wouldn't give her none, but she's right here. I'm making a seat for her here. Mm. What you say, mother? Only nice? Excellent. Mm? Excellent. Good. Most watery. Mm. 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 Never give me none mother malice, yo. Mother? <laughs> and then your sister should have baked with me. Mm. But when I tell you, this is so good. Mm. I'm going to need to make another one soon. Mm-hmm. Mm. And that was so nice, I gave her a nice piece of film. I should not have to deal with no bone. Mm. 
And I tell you guys, mm. 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 Now eat some warm. And it's customary to sing a song. So, I'm going to drop it for you later. And just remember, all the topics and songs that I sing, it's not related to nobody. It's just life experiences. Mm. Guys, when I tell you, see how I'm not the biggest fan of snapper or fish on a hole. There's few fish that I do eat. But when I tell you that citrus vinegary taste in this snapper is slapping. All right, let's see what we can do with the head. Now, this fish is so full of flavor. I had a whole pepper, some fresh cloves of garlic in the oil when I was frying them. Mm. Ooh. Absolutely beautiful. Ooh. Mm. Mm, mm, mm. Everything is so good. All right, so in this life that we live in, quite often people take people for idiot, right? Natural. I feel like we as people, no matter how great we are, no matter how wonderful we are, no matter how fear we are, I feel like at some point in time we have used somebody, we have thought about... Um, and it, it's not even conscious thinking of us using somebody, but it's about like, you know, you see somebody, they're so giving, they're so kind, they're all of that. And it becomes something natural that, you know, you not even realize that it's a situation like that, right? So there's a song that says, please don't take my kindness for weakness, so oh baby. And, you know, I feel like, even me as a person, I feel like even though I'm consciously thinking that, all right, you know, this is not about kindness for weakness. I can believe that at one point in time in my life, I probably took somebody's kindness for weakness, you know? And, you know, it brings down to the point where we talk about somebody who loves somebody more than them love the other person. You get what I'm saying? So it's one of those situations where you may have a relationship Family ship, that's not even a word, but I'm just making it a family ship, relationship, friendship, all of those things. And this person has been so good to you, you have been good to them, 
and all of those things. But at the same time, it comes around where, you know, it becomes an issue because there is lack of, say, communication. You know what I'm saying? So it's like me and your friend, right? Or my family, like me and my mother, for example. You know, sometimes my mother will say, right, my son, come and me wash this for you. And she's being kind. I can wash, I can cook, I can clean, I can do all those stuff. But she just say, you know what, my son, you've been working hard and everything like that. So let me do this for you. And me still don't know every single week expect mom to come and wash, cook and clean for me, even though I can do it because she offered one or two times. So that's me taking her kindness for weakness. You get what I'm saying? But consciously it's because me, it's less work for me. So she can't do it for me. But... I'm really taking her kindness for weakness. I need to look into myself and say, you know what, Adrian, mother, not have to do this. She decided to do it for you that one time. Take it as an let she ask you again. Don't depend on her to do it for you. You get what I'm saying? And as I said, it was just, when I hit the camera, never had a topic on mine. That's always, it comes natural. So nobody thinks that this is about them because it's not. It's not about me. It's not about you. It's not about nobody. It's about... Things that happen in the world and we like to talk about these things and see what you all think about it. Do you think that taking someone kindness for weakness, a lot of times you know exactly what you're doing or it just happens naturally and then the person have to call you out and say, you know what, you take me for fool, you take me for idiot, eh? You take man for fool, you take man for idiot. <laughs> but you know, I, I, I want to honestly know because I feel like for me personally, I'm the type of person who I always want to be independent and codependent or, you know, anything like that is not a bad thing. But I feel like I growing up in Jamaica, they always tell me, said, teach the person with fish and I always give them fish. You come back right to the fish, don't it? <laughs> but tell me what you think. You know me, me not really eat fish like that, you know, but me not try to forget all of the meat. Mm-hmm. Mm. -hmm. mm. I mean, not a lot of you afraid for the eyeball and everything, but there's some good meat up in here. Mm, good meat. Mm. Oh my goodness. Guys, Ooh, I ain't gonna lie to you. This was slapping. Mm. Absolutely delicious. Mm-mm. Mm I am ready for another whole snapper soul. Mm-hmm. 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 Mm. 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 But I know a lot of time we as people we'll hear a topic about somebody talking about something we think is about us and that's understandable. But as I said, my topics are just whatever comes to my mind at the time when I'm in front of the camera. So <laughs> I always like to get the input because for me personally, it has happened to me before. I take somebody kindness for weakness, but I don't think I subconsciously did it. You get what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. mm. You know, jelly. So when you go to Jamaica, you get the, the coconut them where not fully mature. They're called jelly. And these are so good because they have the jelly meat in it. Mm -mm. mm. mm. But boy, smash the plate. Mm. I'm ready for a nap. So guys, I want to say thank you so much for watching. If you like the content you've been here before and you still haven't hit that subscribe button, what are you waiting for? Go ahead and hit that subscribe button, turn on the notification bell so that you don't miss a brand new upload. 
And as always, say, share with your friends, share with your family, share with your neighbors. Don't be selfish because they want to be a part of this fun and personality. Please don't click off the video just yet because you want to be serenaded by the one and only silly mukbang. Thank you. Thank you for today. Love you guys and I'll see you in the next one. Thinking you, you